Today is Friday, March 15th, 2024, and I am at Glenwood Cemetery in Washington, D.C. I visited a few different graves here today. Civil War photographer Alexander Gardner, a cabinet member, uh, Constantino Brumidi, who painted at the Capitol, the um, artist Emanuel Lutz, who drew, uh, sorry, painted the painting of Washington crossing the Delaware, but there's one grave that stumped me today, and that was the grave of Clifford K. Berryman, who's a political cartoonist, and he's famous for drawing uh, Theodore Roosevelt refusing to uh, kill a tied-up bear cub uh, after a hunt in Mississippi. And, of course, the, the story's more complicated, and the bear ended up getting killed later. It's just not in that specific set of circumstances. Uh, but it's from that incident and the political cartoon that Berryman drew that uh, contributed to the teddy bear uh, craze. And, uh, of course, still a, a popular toy a uh, hundred years later. So I could not find Berryman for the life of me and found his wife, uh, Kate Durfee Berriman, and I just could not find him. So I went to the office and a gentleman there uh, did some looking uh, in the records. He called in his foreman, uh, Andre, who came out here in his uh, backhoe. In fact, he had just been out here digging this grave when I was looking over here for uh, Berryman originally, and he couldn't find him at first either, and logically we figured, well, he's gotta be next to his wife, Kate, right? So he was, but his grave had sunk down so low, I mean, at some parts there, that could be about three, four inches. Uh, so Andre, did, uh, you know, I was grateful for his work, so I gave him uh, a tip, um, uh, so he dug him up, I, you know, told Andre, uh, who he was, and, uh, yeah, so Andre says that he will be back later to lift this stone up a bit, so, uh, sometimes grave hunting is a little tougher because the, the grave marker is just not there anymore, so I wasn't sure if it was totally gone or if it sank, and, uh, the answer was it sank, so... After uh, God knows how many years, Clifford Berryman, the political cartoonist's grave marker, uh, has seen the light of day again.